If I had to encapsulate the summer, it would be the grace of God. Just hearing the broken stories of these people, it was a reminder of God's grace to me that I, I'm just as undeserving. They don't have anything. That's who I was before I came to Christ. This past summer, I had the opportunity to do an internship here at Pacific Garden Mission. It's been established since 1877. It's the world's longest running gospel rescue mission shelter. I spent 10 weeks here over the summer, and the goal was at the end of the summer to have a good understanding of what it took to run a rescue mission. So each week I was doing different things. For instance, I started off with a hospitality crew, answering phones, talking with people, inviting guests, talking to people off the streets. I had the opportunity to serve in the Unshackled program. Uh, you might have heard of that before. If you've heard of Pacific Guard Mission, I'm sure that you've heard of Unshackled. If you've heard of Unshackled, I'm sure that you've heard of Pacific Guard Mission. I had the opportunity to also serve in the day room, which is uh, people who are, who are homeless. These, these are men, women, and children who come directly off the streets of Chicago. Counseling people, talking with them, listening to their stories, teaching Bible classes. Not only do we meet the physical needs of people, but we also uh, make sure to tell people um, the good news, the gospel about Jesus Christ. What has God commanded of us but to love Him first with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and our whole being? And what is the second commandment? It's to love our neighbor as ourself. After being here over the summer, my idea and concept of, of displaying Christ's love has, has been molded and changed by how Scripture describes it, and showing love to people. It, it's one thing to share the gospel with someone. It's another thing to live out the gospel. And to live out the gospel isn't just to proclaim it, but it's also to live it in action to give them food, to wash their clothes, and to really invest in someone's life, and not to just share, share the gospel with them and leave them, um, but to really walk the Christian life with them. There have been certain points in my life where I've, I've really experienced something in my Christian life that's really caused me to grow. And this summer, I really experienced the grace of God. Not that God's grace changed, um, but I saw God's grace differently. And working with broken people over the summer, living with them, it really gives you an appreciation for the gospel. And to see the power of the gospel work in those people's lives. And so if there's anything I had to take away from the summer, it was, it was that, wow, the gospel is powerful. And, and although my sin is great, God's grace is greater. I absolutely saw um, God working this summer. In, in the people here who come to the programs, you know, you have people who are coming in every single day. And a lot of times, you'll just have these thoughts of, this person's not gonna make it. They're only gonna last maybe, you know, I'll, get, I'll give them 48 hours. Um, but I remember a certain instance where a guy came in and I was like, yep, he's not gonna be here long. Well, he ended up sticking it out. Um, and I really saw this guy hunger and thirst after God's word. And so I really saw the power of the gospel. Um, the power of the gospel is that it does things that you don't expect. So this, this guy ended up coming to Christ and he ended up growing in his, in his relationship. He, he, he began investing in other people, uh, displaying the love of Christ that Christ had for him, and he, he started displaying that to other people. So not only did I see God work in, in the people's lives here who came through the ministry and in the staff, but I also saw God work in my own life and in, and in my teammates who came with me here to Pacific Garden Mission. I think that we really grew tight as a team, um, but I think that we grew close together in Christ, and it was great to, to work um, and to grow alongside believers in Christ.